obsessively loved someone and then got to a point where I don't even know where they are or what they're doing anymore after we've passed away. <laughs> Sad girl, so um, um, Yeah, and I kind of, when I was thinking about that, I was imagining like this little explorer who's made it like their life's purpose to prove the existence of the Yeti, you know there are those people. Um, I kind of think like if this didn't work out, that would have been the career path I would have gone down. <laughs> and uh, yeah, and how those, I was imagining this person tracking the movements of this yeti, trying to prove their existence, trying to prove like that they knew the most about this thing and um, getting to a point where they don't even believe that the yeti exists anymore. Um, and I can't, because that's kind of how I've felt often when I've stopped loving someone. Um, so this is Yeti. Ground and 
has anyone been to Derbyshire? And there was just like a dead silence. Um, <laughs> um, anyway, this is called Billy's Song. Hey! Hey! You've been to my house. <laughs> We didn't, that's my friend Denise. <laughs> shelter from like a um from the hailstorm under the eaves of an old bombed out church. <laughs> I sound so much more <laughs> um, 
but I got like it like the hail like hit me in the eye and I couldn't see for like an hour. Um, so this is the last beautiful thing I saw. It's the thing that blinded me. <laughs> A dozen crews and then someone
<laughs> but I was kind of like, if that was me, that 100% wouldn't have been my decision to be on the escape board. And so it's just this person grappling with the fact that this is the funniest way I've ever introduced this song. <laughs> Um, yeah, it, I kind of wrote it about this, the existentialism of this person grappling with their existence and whether they know whether they're going to land on another planet and I just, I think I was just trying to um, encapsulate all the generational anxiety that I'm like feeling <laughs> um, and I wanted to do that kind of as vaguely as possible. <laughs> okay, this is a <laughs> There was confusion and there were flames. I had always felt the fire call my name, but this was different. I could taste the fear and the sweet relief that the end of all journey. I wrote it 
at the lowest point in my life and I wanted to convey what I was feeling, which was that at the lowest point in my life, I felt like even the most basic things that every human being has to tie them to being a human. So like looking at the moon or sitting under the stars or having calls from your mother, um, I didn't deserve those things. And um, I like had such a complex, I feel like, I felt like my houseplants didn't want to be with me. Um, they kept dying. <laughs> um, and I ended up releasing it like a year hence from when I wrote it, um, which was quite nice symbolically. Um, I've ended up having this current year, I mean, one of the best years of my life, um, which. Yeah, a big part of that has been being able to do what I love. And so I wanted to say a big thank you to every one of you that's made it possible by listening to my music and by coming to shows. It makes me incredibly emotional. I feel very humbled by your love of my music. And um, yeah, Forsaken is what I'm going to play next.
Like a bottle of water or something. Thank you. Are you good? Yeah, I think I'm very Okay. Okay, cool. No, I'm fine. Get get a chair or something. Can we get a chair? Sit down. We've got a bottle of water. She doesn't look okay, guys. She needs to squat down because she needs to put her head up on her knees. Yeah, okay. Thanks everyone, just talk amongst yourselves please, just like, keep it going, just chat for us, take five, chat. on how big the rest of my music ever was um, and it, <laughs> it wasn't um, but like <laughs> it was a really important song to me that came from like a very dark place um, and I think I found solace in how many other people found it important and how many other people know the words now and sing them along. This is a very pro singing along show by the way but I'm just very aware that my other songs aren't bops so like <laughs> Um, the time is now. <laughs> uh, anyway, yeah, this is the fruit. My love is the devil. I would worship you instead of him. I have no time for confession. Trying to dizzy, can't No 
from Sona. No one ever talked about this, but um, I released Labour in March. <laughs> it has been so fucking cathartic <laughs> to do gigs and hear people scream um, when people are, I think, I thought you were a folk musician. Um, <laughs> and um, it's just the most amazing feeling. and. You guys give that to me, so thank you. I'm being sappy this evening. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is Labo.
Shall we just get to that? <laughs> um, how are we doing? That's the part of the show where sometimes I like ask what people. People. <laughs> and the end of the sentence was going to be that everyone just screams out. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming.